Hello and welcome to another PingCast. Today's episode is going to be about two additional panels, well, two panels you can get for your, uh, PingGuy OS. The first one will be Frippery Bottom Panel, and the second one will be Tint 2. Uh, I just, I did this because I did two dock, uh, two additional docks you can get for your pin guy system, so why not do two panels? First one I'm going to be covering is Frippery Bottom Panel to Gnome Shell Extension. Let's go to extensions.gnome.org and search for Frippery Bottom Panel. It's right here. Uh, if it's just click uh, this on button, and if it's uh, not installed, then it'll ask you to install it. If it is installed, and like I, I have it installed, then it'll just turn it on. <coughs> As you can see. Uh, our workspaces are now going left to right instead of up and down. They did before. Turn this on left to right. If you right click here, you can select your number of workspaces. I could do four over two rows. Oops. Let's try that again. Ah. One other thing, GNOME is going to want to take over, because uh, if I do that here, see add additional workspace, I put something down here, it's going to add an additional workspace, I put it up here, it's all wiped out. So one other extension you might want to get is the Static Workspaces extension. Um, you activate it, and when you activate it that time, it freezes it to whatever workspace setup you had before, but Frippery can still manipulate it. Basically this will just give Frippery a control, allow it to control the desktop better. And here we are, Static Workspaces. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. I huh, wonder where my web browser went. Anyways, that's Frippery. Oh, one other thing about it too, um, there's a sort of this notification pop-up you get at the bottom. Some stuff still goes there. Uh, you gotta click down at the lower right to summon it. You can dismiss it the same way. Uh, if anything is in there, then it'll display an exclamation point letting you know that there's something there, and if it's empty, then there won't be anything there. So I'll just, uh, disable this. And the next one we are going to look at is Tint 2. Actually, I think you can run it from the menu. Yep. 
Now, if you want to change this, unfortunately, you have to directly edit a config file. There is a front end you can get to it, but it just basically creates a config file for Tint 2 that you can use. Um, it's a graphical front end, but I'll just show you how to edit it directly, which actually isn't that bad. It's not like conky or anything, it's actually quite easy to edit it. So, open up Nautilus, press Control H to show hidden files, go to dot config, go to tint2, and this is it, tint2rc. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make a backup of it real quickly. Okay, I've made my backup. So let's double click this, and I'll open up Gedit. Let's take a look at it. We have three IDs right here. We have rounded, so how round, or square it could be. Basically how round is rounded equals zero, give it a very square look. The width of the border, the background color, which would be what we're seeing right there. The border color, which is this gray at the top. And we have two more IDs with that. And the panel, uh, you can say which monitor is, which position, top, bottom, left, or right, center, left, or right, horizontal or vertical, the size, so how wide in percentage and then how high. If you're using a window manager, if you turn on WM menu and you click on some bare panel space, then it'll bring up the w window manager menu, like an open box would bring up the open box menu. Uh, it's set to close some th an application on right click. So if you right cl click an application, it's going to close it, it won't bring up the menu. If you switch that functionality off, then it'll bring up the menu, but if you don't, then it'll just close the application. I see here we have our ID, we could make it something else, we could make it two or three. You can make the panel auto hide, and you can control the the timeouts. Uh, it's single desktop, but you could have this show all your desktops, and you can click and drag to move your applications between desktops. And this is actually set to zero. It's set to look like one panel, but you could set, you could actually make this show uh, our tasks using ID two and three. System tray not gonna have one because everything's up in here, so it's going to go to that system tray. You can change your clock, your uh, time format here. If you're on a laptop, you can have a battery. <coughs> here we have our mouse actions. See, mouse where mouse right is closed. So if I right click, it's closed. You can make it none if you wanted to turn that off. Just to show you one, uh, the, the uh, active background ID, we'll set this equal to one. System tray background ID is one. Clock is one. And we'll make panel zero. Save that. If you, I showed at modifying Conkey in my last video that if you use Vim, then it'll restart Conkey. Nothing restarts Tint 2 for you. You're going to have to kill it, then restart it. And as you can see, it's got so it's got the uh, taskbar and the clock. But there's nothing else to show, but you can see these are kind of a separate entity now. That some people do. It looks kind of neat if you do it that way. Um, to make this multi desktop.
but uh, hmm. ah, let's have this equal to one. And there we go. We have our two desktops. I can click and drag. Maybe if you could uh, add uh, the for free static extension so that you don't have that additional deletion of uh, workspaces so suddenly and quickly. But uh, that's it for this pincast. I showed you two additional panels you can get, well, two panels that you can get for your pin guy system. You don't have any. You don't come with one, so you're not going to get additional panels, but I really hope you enjoy this episode of Pincast. Stay tuned for another one. Uh, some additional things I want to mention uh, with your free bottom panel can control the workspaces like I mentioned, but uh, it's the only panel that can do so. It can't just, uh, it can't, uh, you, c you don't have it's the only panel you can get for your desktop LA to control how many workspaces and uh, the rows. So you can't manipulate your workspaces like that with any other panel. Um, if you're using Tint2, then you'll want to go to this URL. Let's just search for Tint2. Oh, and. Uh, if you're using GNOME 2, if you're on Ping 11.04, you'll have an applet that'll allow you to do um, the whole workspace thing, like uh, that Furpery had done. And you can uh, add it to your taskbar. Uh, go to Wiki. You're configuring your Tint 2 RC. I don't know if uh, it's the SVN version. I don't think it is. The SVN version allows you to add launchers to Tint 2. But you can just look through here and it'll tell you how to modify your Tint 2.